Hello viewers, here is an SBC clock telephone. This is model ML-500CD. It has the brand Multi-Linkage. Never heard of them before. I may never hear of them again. This thing kind of looks like it would have been one of those things sold under the General Electric name sometime around the mid 2000s or so. It feels relatively cheap. The handset is pretty lightweight and the cord is some strange circular design. I I've certainly felt cheaper things though. This isn't too bad. The ringer's off when I switch it to high. These buttons feel okay. Um, it's got a decent sized speaker. Of course, providing the speaker actually covers the entire part of the grill. I can't really see in there to tell the difference. I believe this is a battery backup. The tab is broken, so I don't know how exactly one is supposed to open this. Alright, well I apologize for those that were curious as to what kind of batteries it takes. I don't know and I can't figure it out easily. Um, it is keeping time. It's tracked four minutes since I plugged it in, so it appears to work. The screen is backlit, which, you know, if this is supposed to go next to a bed, I don't know how in the world that's going to work. That is, in my opinion, way too bright to sit next to a bed. Let's see if I can get this in better view here. And that's what it looked like. Um, now I can't even see where the buttons are. This is going to be a, a glare freak show. Actually, that's not too bad like that. I know it's kind of crooked, but I think that's what we're going to have to do. Um, let's see if I can tang angle it a little more. No, as soon as I angle it over there, we lose. We get that dog arm glare. So I'll just take the whole camera and move it this way. That's not going to work either. Unfortunately, it's just going to have to be kind of crooked like that. I don't know how else to get it in, into the picture. Well, anyways, let's see what we got here. Um, set, set, uh, date and time, it has a date of 2005 on there, so that's probably a likely date of manufacture, let's increase that a little bit, to this, let's see if I do this, maybe I'll be a little better, oh jeez, even that's not too good. Well, that's a little better, I guess. Get out of there. Okay, set. Uh, we are in 2019. Set. And it is 7.56. Whoops. And it's not giving me an option for an RPM. I guess you have to cycle through the whole thing, which I'm not going to do on video. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's the seventh. LCD contrast. Here we go. Ah, now we can actually see the dual current thing. Yeah, there we go. We'll keep it on that for now. That's good. Set uh, area code. Yeah, this the operating system looks a lot like the the General Electric phones. Uh, English didn't see an option to change the um, backlighting. Jesus, we hit the camera. So, all right. Looks like it's got three alarms, which is kind of cool. Oh no, it doesn't. It's alarm one, and alarm two, and then alarm off. Gotta learn how to read. Although it appears if you press it, it turns it back off, so perhaps the. This seems like it's kind of redundant. Alright, um, let's see here. Let's turn the radio on. I don't know where the volume is. Oh, here it is. I'm 
also not sure how you know what frequency you're working with. This is a pretty lengthy antenna around here. So not quite sure how this is supposed to work. There's some music. Very flaky reception. Seems like it's not even working at all anymore. Very loud. It actually, it's not too bad if it's on a hard surface. The carpet muffles it. I still don't understand how this works. Mallard, take fit the pill. So this is. It just seems to stop after I keep hitting scan. Yeah, I don't know. I don't quite understand how that works. Well, anyways, the radio is very, very flaky. Perhaps, maybe I don't know how it works. Maybe it's just junky. Anyways, um, well, let's run it up and see what it sounds like. doesn't sound like anything. Hello? Oh, there. I didn't change it. Well, that's a weird ringer. That's like a, an AT&T ringer. Reminds me very much of the 210. Hello, hello. It seems like it works. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Actually, it seems to have pretty good pickup, too. Okay, and we're going to hang up and do a redial. Seems to work. The handset has a volume control. How many volumes it has. So we've got some memories, speed dials, and then the flash, which is working. Okay, let's go ahead and call out. No, that's, I don't want that on. Volume level does seem to change. Actually, these buttons have a really nice feel to them. And they're backlit, too. Not bad. Good evening. At People's United Bank, we deliver solutions that matter to your business. People's 
Alliance United Bank N.A., member FDIC. Today is Friday, March 8th. People's United Bank, time 8.04. And you know what? <laughs> it actually sounds fairly decent. Backlighting's pretty good, too. It says phone in use on there. I get the light back on. I can't see where the switch is. Oh, that's a switch to something else. There we go. Um, now, I thought we rang uh, this. I don't know why I didn't get a caller ID. Let's try it again. Probably because I had it on the wrong thing. That's the ring on low. It's very, very quiet. Okay, so that's working. Let's put the ring back up to loud because that's about all that's worth anything. One, 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 one. Stinking glare. So, I will say that the viewing angle here is kind of crummy for this top. What happened? The caller ID just disappeared. Let's try that one more time. That's pretty dumb if the caller ID just disappears like that. What? Now, I was saying the viewing angle up at the top here, it's a little hard to see if you're above the unit. You have to kind of be at, you know, level or eye level with it or below it almost. That's ridiculous. The caller ID disappears. That's honestly ridiculous. Oh, let's see if the radio turns off by itself when you answer the phone. It does. Okay. That's pretty cool. I guess that indicates the radio is on. Pick it up and it goes off. So I'm going to turn the radio on and then we're going to call it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, maybe this isn't so bad after all. And the radio even came back on too. We have a new call light. Would be a little more attention grabbing if it flashed. And we also have a voicemail light, so if you had a telephone line with voicemail on it, it would pick it up. Dial. Pick up or adjust. How do you adjust it? There we go. Alright, well I have to say it definitely has a couple of design issues. That's the, the top number row is kind of hard to see unless it's at more of like an angle like this. I don't know why the call ID disappears. That's kind of ridiculous. And I don't understand the radio whatsoever. But other than that, it actually seems like a decent phone. You know, the, the, the handset is, is pretty nice for what it is. You can change out the cord on both ends. Um, yeah, I, I gotta say, I can't say much bad about this. I wouldn't be able to use this in the bedroom with, with the um, the display being that bright. Um, I don't see any way to change it. I'll have to see if I can get a manual for this thing, because maybe I'm using the radio wrong, I don't know. Anyways, there it is. It's kind of a cool phone. I'm not sure where I'll ever use it. Maybe at the, maybe at a desk or something, just because having the clock so big is kind of nice.